with me to the book of First Kings chapter 19 verse 4 through 8. Twende pamoja katika kitabu cha wafalme wa kwanza. Let's do it. Went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree. And the prayer and he uh, and he prayed that he might die and said it is enough now Lord take my life for I am no better than my fathers. Then as he lay and slept under a broom tree, suddenly an angel touched him and said to him, Arise and eat. Then he looked and there... <clears throat> uh -huh, and a jar of water. So he ate and drank and lay down again. And the angel of the Lord came back the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat because the journey... Is too great for you, verse 8. So he arose and ate and drank. And he went in the strength of that food 40 days and 40 nights. As far as Horeb, the mountain of God. Mustari wa ine. Lakini yeye mwenyewe akaenda katika jangwa mwendo wa siku moja. Akaenda akaketi chini ya mretemu. Akajombea roho yake afwe akasema... Yatosha sasa e bwana uyondoe roho yangu kwa kuwa mimi si mwema kuliko baba zangu. Naye akajinyosha akalala chini ya mretemu na tazama malaika akamgusa akamwambia inuka ule. Akatazama kumbe panamkate umeokwa juu ya makaa na gudulia la maji kichwani pake. Akala akanywa akajinyosha tena. Malaika wa Bwana akamwendea mara ya pili akamgusa akasema inuka udle maana safari hii ni kubwa mno kwako akainuka akala akanywa akaenda katika nguvu za chakula hicho siku arobaini mchana na usiku hata akafika horebu mlima wa Mungu now many things have been preached from the book of first kings chapter 19 from verse 4 to verse 8. Mambo mengi yamehubiriwa kutoka kwa kitabu cha wafalme wa kwanza 19 4 hadi 8. This chapter has been preached by so many people, mighty men of God who have spoken wonderful things concerning this scripture. Na watu wakuu wa Mungu wamenena mambo makuu na mazuri kuhusu maandiko haya. And great lessons have been taught from this scripture. Na mafundisho makuu yamewahi kufundishwa kutokana hapa. And Today, Leo, it is true. Ni kweli. Every wo everything that the men of God ever said concerning this scripture, it is true. Na yale yote watu wa Mungu wamewahi kuzungumzia kuhusu ya maandiko ni kweli. Elijah was running away from the voice of a woman. Na Elia alikuwa anatoroka sauti ya mwanamke. Wishing he could die. Na akatamani kufa. He was so dry within him. Alikuwa amekauki ndani mwake any voice could have scared him na sauti yoyote ingelimtishia if you may like you can say he was in a wilderness of a sort na kama ungetaka unasema alikuwa katika jangwa la nafsi it is true ni kweli and every one of us here kila mmoja wetu hapa has been in this kind of situation before amewahi kuwa katika hali hii hapo mwanzoni However, that's not what I want to talk about today. Hata hivyo sio hivyo ningelitaka kuzungumzia leo. Because to speak the truth, uh, you've heard this sermons before. Ningelitaka kuzungumzia ukweli wa kuhusu maandiko. And if you were not encouraged then, I don't see me encouraging you today. Na kama haukutiwa moyo hapo, sioni nikifanya hivyo. Allow me to turn away from Elijah and his escapades and his fears and his worries and his hunger and desire to die. Wacha kidogo ni geukie ama niachane na vile Elia alikuwa akiangaika na njaa na kutoroka. And allow me to focus on something that we've all missed during all this time. Lakini niruhusu nikaweke mtazamo wangu kwa kitu ambacho so that we can understand and find ourselves also in this story of Elijah ili tukaweze kujifahamu na kujipata katika hii hadithi ya Elia. And I want to talk about the broom tree. Nataka nikaweze kuzungumzia mretemu. And not Elijah. Na si Elia. 
It's very easy to see the main character and forget what makes the character. Ni rahisi sana kuona yule mhusika mkuu na usahau chenye kinamsaidia. I want to talk about a few things today but allow me to concentrate on the broom tree. Nataka nizungumzie mambo machache lakini juu ya mretemo. It's also known as the juniper tree. Pia inajulikana kama mretemo. <laughs> it's a low bushy desert or a tree found in the desert. Huu ni mti unaopatikana jangwani. Uh, and it never grows to be the tall trees you see in Africa. Na haikui sana kuwa mti mrefu kama vile linapatikana barani Afrika. The Riley Study Bible says that. The Riley Study Bible. Na hiyo nakala ya Biblia inasema hivi. Say that a juniper tree is a desert shrub that sometimes grow 10 feet high only. Ya kwamba mretemu ni mti ambao unaweza kukua kimo kiasi cha futi 10. You see 10 feet is about 3 meters. Not very high. Na huo ni mti ambao unapata mita And when you see a 10 feet broom tree or juniper that is a very big tree. Na ukiwana umefikia futi 10. So when you talk of a broom tree stop thinking of the the eucalyptus tree or the baobab tree those that become so tall you even think they are reaching the sky na tukizungumzia mretemu usifikirie tunazungumza miti kama vile mibuyu ambayo inakuwa na kuwa mikubwa let me explain in job chapter 30 verse 4 katika kitabu cha ayubu 30 mstari wa 4 job is talking about this broom tree in his miseries na Anazungumzia kuhusu hu mretim, mretemu. And he says, who pluck mellow by the bushes and broom trees roots for their food? Job is talking and asking these questions. Ayubu anazungumzia na kuliza haya maswali. He's asking his friends and he's asking himself. Na anajuliza maswali na kuliza rafiki zake. And he starts talking about how they are laughing concerning him and his miseries. Na pia anazungumzia vile wanamcheka kuhusu maono yake. And he mentions a broom tree as well. Na anazungumzia mretemu. And the easy standard version says they pick salt water and the leaves of bushes and the roots of the broom tree for their food. Kungoa mboga ya chumvi kwenye kichaka na mizizi ya mretemu ni chakula chao. You see digging its roots for livelihood mizizi yao ni chakula and sustenance na inawapatia nguvu and nourishment this is what job is saying na hivi ndivyo ayubu anazungumzia they find sustenance in the roots of the broom tree wanapata nguvu katika mizizi ya mretemu and they nourish themselves there na wanapata nguvu hapo so the broom tree was important to the desert people Na umretemu ulikuwa ni mtu wa muhimu kwa watu wanaokuwa jangwani. Na Ayubu asinge uzungumzia. In Psalms 120 and verse 4. Zaburi ya 120 na mstari wa 4. It says this. Inasema hivi, sharp arrows of the warrior with calls of the broom tree. Mhm. Mstari wa 4. Mishale ya mtu hodari ilio chongoka pamoja na, mi, na makaa ya mretemu. It is described as a shrub that provides a long lasting fire when you find coal from it. Na inazungumziwa kwamba ikona makaa ya nayo toa moto mkali. Not only does it give you shade, not only does it give you nourishment in the desert, it can also provide fire for you. It's a very important shrub. Haukupati tu kivuli wala chakula unaweza kupatia makaa ya moto pia. You need to understand something here. Na tupasa tuelewe kitu hapa. So that you can appreciate the broom tree today. Ili ukaweze kukubali mretemu leo. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Amen. Approximately 60% of Israel is a desert. Aslimia sitini ya inchi ya Israeli ni jangwa. Unfortunately, however, there are occasional opportunities that you find a shade and a broom tree. 
na kwa bahati mbaya unaweza ukapata mahali kuna mti wa kivuli and another tree that i will talk about in the coming sundays na kuna mti mwingine nitazungumzia juma lijalo so a rotten tree or a broom tree or a juniper tree kwa hivyo mretemu grows mostly in what is called the wadi in arabic wadi or 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 the canyon in english Ina, inakuwa sana katika hiyo uh, mahali zinaitwa silanga ama zinaitwa kwa nini unajua mahali you know where it's dry and then there is a a band where probably when flash flood comes it passes through there how do you call it aha uh-huh. occasionally when it rains some flood water passes by there that's what they call the canyon in english and uh, the arabs call it the wadi probably even the hebrews the wadi it grows there within that channel where water comes ni mahali ambapo wakati mwingine kunatokea chemichemi za maji some of you who have gone through dry places you understand what i'm talking about ngine mmepitia jangwani mnafahamu ninazungumzia nini and when it blossoms it's a very beautiful shrub na inakuwa ni mtu unaopendeza you will never hear a broom tree complaining i'm in the desert na hautasikia ukilalamika mretemu kwamba uko jangwani it is always busy waiting to give shade to someone who is in the desert in a ta- iko tayari kupeana mtu aliye jangwani kivuli it is willing to wait for an elijah who is discouraged yes he can kill 400 prophets of baal but he's discouraged and he needs a shade the broom tree will always be waiting mtu kama elia aliyevunjika moyo kumpatia kivuli it does not concentrate on the surrounding which is a desert it concentrates on its nature which is to to give a very beautiful scenario a shade and fire and some roots for someone to eat when they are hungry hajichulishi na mazingira lakini kazi yake kuu ni kujishughulisha na ile kazi yake ya kupeana kivuli chakula na makaa for sundays that i'll be preaching about mission starting last sunday Today I want to preach to us and bring a message and title be a shade like never before on this mission. Ninazungumzia kuhusu missionary kwa majuma manne kuanzia juma lililopita na leo ninazungumzia kuwa kivuli vile haujawahi. Tell your neighbor be a shade like never before. Nambia jirani yako kuwa kivuli vile haujawahi. I wish we can see these photos of a broom tree so that you can understand what i'm talking about natamani tungeona hizi picha za mretemu ili tukaweze kufahamu na kaje come on i have it on the screen can you see it je unaweza kuona that's a broom tree do you see what is surrounding it huo ni mretemu je unaona mazingira has the surrounding stopped it from becoming the green tree it's supposed to be Je, jangwa limezuia kufanya ile kazi? Is drier than any part of our nation. Hiyo sehemu ni kame kuliko sehemu zote Look nchini. Look at that broom tree flourishing on a rocky place where there is nothing. Naangalia huo mretemu unanawiri mahali kuna mawe na hakuna no kitu. No wonder Elijah could only run and sit under it. Why? It understands the desert. Ni ndiposa Elia alitorokea hapo chini kwa maana unafahamu no jangwa. In a desert because it will understand and then you are the desert so whoever is in a desert tomorrow will come and sit and the world understands this. Unafahamu mazingira ya jangwa ndiposa mtu yoyote atakayekuwa katika hali ya jangwa anaukimbilia. We need to understand that we are where we are for a reason and a purpose. Never transplant yourself you will miss a mission opportunity. Nazima tufikirie na kugundua kwamba tuko mahali tuko kwa lengo na kusudi. Look at that broom tree. Mwangalia mretemu. You see any grass anywhere? Je, unaona nyasi karibu hapo? You see any water anywhere? Je, unaona maji mahali popote? How is it maintaining the green color that it has? Kwa nini huo mti bado una majani ya kunawiri? I can never allow myself to dry up because my surrounding dictates the same. I have roots that can fetch and find the water I require. Sitaruhusu kukauka kwa maana mimi niko na mizizi inayofikilia maji. Speak to the name of Jesus. 
Amen. Is somebody in church today? Hallelujah. Amen. I think we need to pray for our sound team. They need God. Hallelujah. Amen. The broom tree, the broom tree understands the desert. Mretemu unafahamu jangwa sawa sawa. And therefore chooses to be the solution to any traveler that goes along that route. Na hivyo inachagua kuwa suluhisho kwa kila anayesafiri jangwani. It understands that it's in that place for a purpose and a mission. Na inafahamu ya kwamba yuko mahali pale kwa lengo. It may not have much in terms of fruits. Inaweza kuwa haizai matunda. But the little shade that it has. Lakini kile kivule kidogo wambai kona yao. Hallelujah. Amen. The little shade it has. Kile kivule kidogo becomes very important to anyone who comes across it. Inakuwa yama ana sana mtu akifikilia. And it continues to become green as it's supposed to be. Na inendelea kuwa na kijani kibichi bila nasihili. Regardless of circumstances. Na bali na mazingira. I don't know what you're going through today. Sifahamu ni nini unapitia leo. But I want to tell you you've been planted where you are. Lakini nataka ni kufuamishe ulipandwa mahali uko. Don't come out of that place only with tears and regrets. Come out with souls. Usitoke mahali hapo na majuto tu. Toka mahali hapo kiwa na nafsi. Where did the angel of the Lord meet Elijah under a broom tree? Na malaika li mpata Elia chini ya mretemu. He did not find Elijah in a palace or in a mansion belonging to a prophet but under a broom tree. Haku mpata katika ikulu lakini chini ya mretemu. God is about to meet a people that you've neglected. A people that have not seen a shade in you but he cannot meet them because the shade has moved from his position. Na Mungu anataka kukutana na watu lakini hawezi kuwapata kwa maana ule mtu wa kivuli umetoka. You see you are a broom tree planted in where you are. Wewe ni mretemu maana umepandwa hapo. Your neighbor hapo. has been looking for a long time for a shade. Na jirani yako amekuwa akitafuta kivuli kwa muda. When come that way trying to die and saying let me die. He comes and finds no shade. And he meets or she misses an opportunity to meet his maker. You need to understand that the broom tree does not only provide shade, it also provides food to the camels and the goats. Na pia unakupasa kufahamu ya kwamba mretemu hautoi tu kivuli lakini chakula kwa wanyama. It has a functional purpose. Na hiyo iko na kazi muhimu in the life of those animals. Na katika maisha ya hao wanyama. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to notice the shadow it produces. Come on, let's go back to the broom tree again. Nataka uangalie kile kivuli cha huo mti mretemu. I don't know whether we are also giving it to the people online. But let's go to that broom tree. Twende katika it how big is the shade? How many people can sit under that shade? On the scorching sun. On that desert. How can you be covered there? Je unaweza kufichika vipi hapo? I want you to think about it before we go anywhere. Nataka ukafikirie hiyo kabla tuendelee. A broom tree. Mretemu. How many people can it cover? Inaweza kuficha watu wangapi hapo? It's not this complete darkening shade. It has some rays of sun that can penetrate because it's not very bushy. Are we together? And it's Something that if you stretch yourself beyond it, you can actually burn with the scorching sun. Ni mti ambao hauna majani ya kushikana, inaruhusu miale ya jua kufika chini. If you position yourself well, you may get the shade you need. Ukiwejiweka sawa sawa, unaweza kupata kile kivuli unaitaji. And bearing in mind what surrounding is, it's a desert and a very hot sun. Na pia ukumbuke inakaa jangwani na kwenye jua kali. You will not look at what it cannot cover, you look at what it can provide. Hautaangalia ni nini inaweza kufunika lakini ni nini inaweza kupeana. What does that teach us today? Je, hiyo inatufundisha nini leo? God's provision is just enough when you need it. 
Tosherezwa na Mungu inatosha wakati unahitaji. Is somebody listening to me? Amen. What does that teach us today? Inatufundisha nini leo? The law the, the, the prayer that the Lord taught the Lord taught us in the Bible. Give us this day our daily bread. Inatufundisha kuhusu ule mkate tunaofundishwa Bibiliani, tupe leo chakula chetu. Cover me for this moment. Nifunike kwa wakati huu tu. When God calls you for a mission, he's not calling you to be a roof but a shed for the moment. Mungu anapokuita kwa missionary hakuiti ukaweze kuwa kifuniko lakini ukaweze kuwa kiboli. He wants us to become that shade that is required. You remember the army that David surrounded himself with those who were in debt, those who were indifferent, those who have been rejected in the cave of the Adullam. I want to tell you those caves were in the desert. Nataka ukumbuke kwamba yale mapango ambayo Daudi alikutana na wale watu walikuwa wamekataliwa iko jangwani. Stop looking for the already established start believing God for the hurting and bring them to a place of rejoicing because the shade God has provided for you is required to be beneficial to others around you. Maana kile kivuli ambacho Mungu amekupatia kinahitaji kuwa cha maana na msaada kwa wengine. Be a shade like never before. Huwa kivuli vile haujawahi. Provide that Shade, even when you are going through tough times. When things are not working for you, stop complaining and start looking whether you can cover someone else. Kama mambo ni magumu, wacha kulalamika na uone kama unaweza kumfunika mwingine. And when you take good care of God's business, God will take good care of your business in return. Na unapo shulikia kazi ya mungu, mungu wata shulikia kazi yako. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Amen. This story of the broom tree does not end there. Na huo hii hadithi ya mretemu haimaliziki hapo. We find it in Genesis 21. Unapata katika kitabu cha mwanzo. Verse 14 to verse 21. Mstari wa kumi na nne hadi shirina moja. He says Abraham rose early in the morning and took bread and a skin of water. And putting it on the shoulder he gave it and the boy to hug her. And sent her away. Then she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water in the skin was used up. And she placed the boy under one of the shrubs. Under one of the? Uh-huh. Stay with me. Then she went and sat down across from him at a distance of about a bow shot. For she said to herself, let me not see the death of the boy. So she sat opposite him and lifted her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the Lord. Then the angel of the Lord, called, the, the, the angel of God, called to Hagar out uh, uh, of heaven and said to her, "What ails you, Hagar? Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the Lord, where He is. And arise, lift up the Lord." And hold him with your hand, for I will make him a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the skin with water, and gave the lad a drink. Mm -hmm. So God was with the lad, and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness, and became a nature. He dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took a wife for him from the land of Egypt. <laughs> Ibrahim wakamka subuhi na mapema akatoa mkate na kiriba cha maji akampa hajiri akimtwika begani pake na kijana akamruhusu naye akatoka akapotea katika jangwa la Bersheba yale maji yakaisha katika kiriba akamlaza kijana chini ya kijiti kimoja akaenda akakaa akimkabili mbali naye kadiri ya mtupo wa mshale maana alisema ni Simone kijana akifa Naye akakaa akimkabili akapaza sauti yake ya kilia Mungu akasikia sauti ya kijana malaika wa Mungu akamwita hajiri kutoka mbinguni akamwambia una nini hajiri usiogope maana Mungu amesikia sauti ya kijana huko aliko ondoka ukamuinue kijana ukamshike mkono mkononi mwako kwa kuwa nitamfanya kuwa taifa kubwa Mungu akamfumbua macho naye akaona Kisima cha maji akaenda akakijaza kiriba maji akamnyesha kijana Mungu akawa pamoja na huyo kijana naye akakuwa akakaa katika jangwa 
akawa mpiga upinde akakaa katika jangwa la parani mama yake akamtwalia mke katika inchi ya misri now listen to this Kiliza hii the bible does not call the shrub a rotten or a broom tree na biblia haiti kile kichaka mretemu but i know it's a broom tree lakini nafahamu ni mretemu how, how do i know that ninajua vipi hilo because afterward the place of that place was called ritma which is a rotem ritma where we get the word rotem from okay which comes from the word rotem ritma comes from the word rotem which is another name for a broom tree na hilo neno linachimbuka au linatokana na neno la mretemu so it is fairly safe to know and to say it's a rotem tree or a broom tree otherwise they would not have named it a ritma are we together na kwa hivyo ni sawa tukisema huo hicho kichaka kilikuwa cha mretemu. Most of us have been in this situation before. Wengi wetu tumekuwa katika hii hali awali. And if so, how did it feel when we found someone to give us a shade? Je, tulihisi vipi tulipopata mtu kutupatia? Look at Haga. Haga looked at her shade. It was too small. She couldn't cover the sun. Na Hajiri akaona kile kivuli kilitosha tu kumficha mtoto. But she understood the value of a rotem shade or a broom tree shade. Lakini akafahamu umuhimu wa kwa mretemu. And for your own information this lad was not that young. The young guy was around teen of teenage. Took the teenager, placed the young man under the shade of a broom tree and that boy called or gained strength to call upon heaven for help. Haga did not call for help. It is the young man who called for help. Na ukumbuke huyu alikuwa si mtoto mchanga, alikuwa ni kama barubaro naye akapata nguvu za kumwita Bwana akiwa katika hicho kibuli. The shed help Ishmael to call upon the name above all names. Na and they were rescued. Hicho kibuli kikamsaidia Ishmaeli kuita jina Don't underestimate the power and the value of the shed you can provide to the needy. Wewe usidharau nguvu za kile kipuli inaweza kupatia. It will give them an extra mile, an extra energy and revitalize their energy so that they can call where true help can come from. Itakupatia nguvu na kuhuisha nafsi yako na kufanya ukaweze kulitia jina la Bwana. Don't underestimate the power of being a cell leader who follows up to a, follows up a people and new believers so that they can have a shade and be able to call out again. Usidharau uwezo anaye kuongoza nyumbani kanisa nyumbani kwa maana anaweza kuitana wengine write this down ndika hii missions are the test of our faith missions are the test of our faith umisheni ndio mtihani wa imani yetu the test of our real belief is our readiness to share it with all people mtihani wa kuamini kwetu halisi Lesley, katika utayari wa kushiriki Lesley, na watu new beginning a missionary to india for 40 years he dedicated his life to reach out to the indians na yeye alitoa na kujitoa maisha yake kufikiria and how true this statement is today na akapeana haya maneno that missions are the test of our faith today kwamba umishonari ndio mtihani wa imani yetu leo providing shade to someone else is the real test of your faith today kuwa kibuli kwa mtu ni mtihani kweli kweli someone wants to me i don't care how you care and i don't care what you believe in until you show me how you care na sijali unaniamini kiasi gani ni mpaka unionyeshe unanijali you need to show me that i am important you need to show me that i can trust you you need to show me that when i come to you i can find rest and you can give me hope as i plan myself for the next day nataka mpaka nione unaweza kunipatia tumaini na neema ni mpaka nijipate niko sawa in psalms 12 verse 15 zaburi 12 verse 1 up to 5 sorry psalms 121 verse 5 psalms 121 verse 5 zaburi ya 121 listen to this word the lord is your keeper the lord is your shade at your right hand bwana ndiye mlinzi wako 
Bwana ni uvuli mko, ni uvuli mkono wako wa kuume. Listen to God. Kiliza Mungu huyo. Do you see what God wants? Je, unaona Mungu anataka nini? God wants us to learn to live in his arms one moment at a time. Mungu anataka tujifundishe kuishi katika mkono wake wakati mmoja hadi mwingine. You don't have it ahead of time. You don't get to know everything. You don't carry it with you. But when you get there, <laughs> the word from my mouth will create just a little bit of shade for you. So God has said, I'm your shade. In fact, I'm the shade at your right hand. Mimi ni uvuli katika mkono wako wa kume. Can translate it and say that I'm your shade in your strong point. Naweza kufafanua na kusema mimi ni kivuli katika mahali pako wa In your strength I'll be your shade. Katika mahali pa nguvu yako nitakuwa kivuli. That does not mean he will not be your shade at your weakest point. Na hiyo haimaanishi hata kuwa kivuli wakati wa udhaifu. He is not only saying he is our shade. Yeye hasemi tu ni kivuli. He is also saying Anasema, That's why he's putting us on his right side, on the right hand. Are you hearing? Th what he's trying to say is this. Though it is all me, I also want a partner in you. As I give you a shade, provide it somewhere else. That's why I'm your shade at your right hand. Seated on my right side, I'm seated on the right side of the Father. You are on my right side, providing shade for you. Can you do the same? Can you duplicate the same? Is somebody in church today? This is what Psalm 121.5 is telling us. He is on the right side of the Father. We are on the right side of the Son. Can we have someone else on the right side of our side? Yes, you are the one who is 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 the Write this down. Choosing to become a shade is allowing yourself to become God's provision to the needy. Kuchagua kuwa kibuli ni kuruhusu ni kujiruhusu kuwa kutoshelezwa kwa Mungu. Choosing to become a shade is allowing yourself to become God's provision to the needy. Kuchagua kuwa kibuli ni kujiruhusu wewe mwenyewe ukaweze kutumika na Mungu kama chakula kwa wanao hitaji. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. What is God telling us? Mungu anatuambia nini? He's trying to tell us I'm the enough shade that you need. Mimi ni kivuli unachohitaji. I am that broom tree that you need. Mimi ni ule mretemu unaohitaji. A juniper tree that you need. Mimi ni mretemu unaohitaji. When you come to me the right way, I will drop the temperatures from 60 degrees centigrade to around 20 or 15 so that you can feel like you're in Limuru and enjoying the weather. Ukinifikia wakati hali ya joto ni kuu nitashusha nyuzi za joto. I will drop the temperatures to a cool breeze that can cause you to sleep like Elijah. I'm your provision. Nitashusha nyuzi za joto kufikia kiwango ambao unaweza kupumzika kama Elia. However, often what God says is this. Wakati mwingine Mungu akisema hivi, Look. Tazama. That is me. Just Dio. enough shade. So sit close to me because if you go an inch away you will be hit by a heat stroke. Mimi hukupea kivuli tu kidogo kwa hivyo inakufasa ukae karibu nami ukisonga mbali utachomeka. And then he's telling me once the cool breeze has revitalized you go start walking again face the tough times around you as a missionary you will face luck you will feel like you are sick and you have no resources but just when you're about to give up on another corner of your desert a broom tree waiting for you I'm that provision Na wakati umehuishwa nafsi yako simama tena uanze mwendo you will take one corner and another corner and you'll find me waiting for you in a strategic position so that you can have enough strength to move on. Na unapo piga mwendo utanipata nikiwa mahali 
na unapohitaji this someone today here kuna mtu leo hapa there is a mother a father a brother a village a city a nation that is longing to have a shade somewhere today na kuna mtu ama mji ama inchi inatamani kupata kivuli mahali there are people going through hot temperatures right now in their families in their marriages in their businesses in their workplaces it's so hot they are just longing for that shade around them kuna watu wanapitia joto kubwa katika jamii na familia nao wanatamani kivuli if they are workmates together with you do you say that it serves them right or do you say it's an, an opportunity for me to provide shade because i'm on the right hand of the father he has given me shade let me provide the same to someone else je utasema wanastahili ama utasema mimi ndio kivuli wacha nikaweze kuwasaidia are you going to be that broom tree that is so required in someone's desert strategically positioned by god for that same purpose are you going to be a shade like never before Je utakuwa ule mretemu uliowekwa mahali uh, pasawa kwa mtu aliye jangwani. Will you choose to be the broom tree that is never moved by any desert, that is never moved by any heat, that is never moved by the lack of water around it. It will continue to become what it has been made to be. Je utachagua kuwa mretemu ambao haubabaishwi na jangwa ama Never stay ngumu. away from God because resources have become short. Usikae mbali na Mungu kwa maana mambo au mali imetoka. Stop becoming toka. too busy for what you are meant to be because you are looking for resources. God will make sure you dry up as you are busy looking for something to nourish you. Usikuwe na shughuli nyingi na kusahau ile jukumu Mungu amekupatia. Listen to Psalms 80 verse 8 through 10. Twende Zaburi 80 He says you have brought a vine out of Egypt you have cast out the nations and planted it verse 9 you prepared room for it and caused it to take deep root and it filled the land let's continue the hills were covered with its shadow and the mighty cedars with its boughs ulileta mzabibu kutoka misri ukawafukuza mataifa ukaupanda uliuteng ngeneza nafsi mbele yake nao ukatia mizizi sana ukaijaza inchi mlima ilifunikwa kwa uvuli wake matawi yake ni kama mierezi ya Mungu listen Eliza. Israel is finally understanding why it is Israel that they were just a tiny seed from Egypt no power no strength kwamba sasa wanafahamu walikuwa ni mbegu kidogo sana kutoka But when they obeyed to walk in God's way they became a shade to mountains that could not be moved people who looked that they were established they depended on them today let me tell you america survives because of israel it's a fact Now wakipata wanatoa kivuli kwa watu wengi na hata marekani inawategemea You see the prophet here is referring Israel as a shadow to nations. Na nabii anaelekeza nchi ya Israeli kama a shade to the nations. Kwa kama kivuli kwa mataifa. Nations that have established themselves they have to ask Israel for questions to how mataifa can we do maku, this in our security and all these where are the solutions? Mataifa makuu yanategemea kuuliza Israeli wapate suluhisho. And God is up there looking and saying aha uh -huh, life is hard situations are tough but just be you don't be the situation. Na Hallelujah. Mungu anatazama kuona hali inaweza kuwa ngumu lakini anasema wewe baki vile vile. Do you want to tell me you are facing tougher times than Israel as a nation? Je, unataka kuniambia unapambana na makuu zaidi ya Israeli? Every nation that surrounds Israel is dreaming to erase Israel from the map of the world. Kila taifa linalozunguka Israeli inatamani kuiondoa Israeli. But Israel has always been there standing as the broom tree surrounded by a desert and it is blossoming today lakini israeli imesimama hapo kama mretemu na inawiri siku ya leo before you can say you have no finances think of israel that is surrounded by 
Iran, Iraq, Jordan, Syria, Egypt in Africa, and all these nations that are actually developing weapons to just finish Israel. But Israel is just saying, keep on developing. But we have God as our shade. Kabla useme hauna so. kitu kumbuka Israeli inazungukwa na mataifa hayo yote ya Kiarabu na kila taifa linataka kuiangamiza. Are you here church of the living God? Kanisa Tell your neighbor be a shade like never before. Bia jirani yako kuwa kivuli bila haujawahi. Don't look at your lack, look at the provision God has given you and share that little one. Usiangalie kwako, angalia kile Mungu ametosheleza. Share that little one. Shiriki hicho Acts 5 verse 15 to 16 we are not going to read it I'm going to narrate it Acts 5 verse 15 to 16 we see people in Israel finding Peter walking and they would lay their sick ones to the side where the shadow of Peter is so that the shadow can touch the hill uh, the sick and get healed Na tunaona watu wakitaka kukaa au kugusa kivuli cha Petro ili wakaweze kuponywa the lame would walk wale vilemo watatembea and people would come to see what the shadow can do wale watu walikuja kuona kile kivuli kinafanya nini if you know your worth and you live according to your worth nations will be summoned around you to see your shadow and what it can do mataifa yatakuja kuona kivuli chako kinaweza kufanya nini know your worth jua thamani yako know your worth don't sell yourself short be the shadow that god has called you to be kuwa kile kibuli mungu amekuita kuwa this excites me why because we've been engrafted into this same covenant that peter was walking in kwa maana mimi ni sehemu ya ile agano ambalo petro alikuwa we are part and parcel of what god did with peter in a shadow he is going to do greater and mightier things in us the holy spirit is not only with us but also in us and he is the best shadow that can cover and heal the people around us na kile aliweza kufanya peter na kivuli chake unaweza kutenda makuu vile vile is someone in church today amen god has covered us so that we can become a comfort to the nations Mungu ametufunika ili tukaweze kuwa na faraja kwa wengine Before you can comfort the nation Kabla ufariji mataifa you have your neighbor Uko na jirani yako You have your brother Uko na ndugu yako You have your sister Uko na dada yako You have your workmates Uko na wafanyikazi You have the daily boda boda guy who carries you Je uko na pia uko na yule mtu anayekubeba Become a shadow provide that solution nenda ukaweze kuwa solution stop assuming everyone is doing okay wacha kufikiria kila mtu anafanya vyema stop this narrative that kila mtu ana mambo yake hata mimi napitia magumu you know you don't need to trouble these waters let them be as still as they are let me tell you the more you provide a shadow the more the lord provides the shadow to you let me unaendelea kuwa kivuli mungu pia anakuwa kivuli kwako let me tell you something else that will encourage you Wacha nikwambie kitu kitakacho kutia moyo. There will be no shadow without a sun. Hakutakuwa na kibuli bila jua. Amen. Let the sun burn as much as it wants, but I'm going to remain as a shadow to the needy because I'm well taken care of. Wacha jua liendelee kuangaza bila Stop complaining about how hot it is. Don't complain. Stop complaining how you're lacking and start concentrating on what the shadow can do. Wacha kulalamika vile umepungukiwa na ukaweze kuona kivuli kinaweza kufanya nini. And you'll become that broom tree that helped Ishmael, that helped Elijah, that helped Moses to hear the voice of God. It burnt in the desert and it was never consumed. Look at those shrubs in the desert they still remain to be what they are called to be. Angalia vile vichaka kule jangwani. Stop complaining. Wacha kulalamika. Has your luck killed you? Je kupunga kwako kumekuwa? Shrubs in the wilderness they burn because of the scorching sun and they are finished. But if they maintain their roots beneath, 
they will still sprout again hallelujah Isaiah 32 verse 1 to 8 as I finish in the New Living Translation and this one I want us to read it together come on eight verses very quickly this is what it says come on let's read it together look be loud as you can come on let's do it look a righteous king is coming and a honest princess will rule under him verse 2 each one will be like a come on let's start again each one after what hold on after a princess a righteous king has arrived is our king Jesus Christ righteous hello has he already come now each one let's go back each one will be like a come on be loud each one will be a lot mm -hmm. uh-huh and a refuge from the storm like streams of water in the desert and the shadow of a great rock in a parched land verse 3 then everyone who has eyes will be able to see the truth ay 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 stop 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 People are not able to see the truth because the shelter in us is broken. We are complaining and murmuring continuously. The shelter is broken. Nobody can live in the truth because the one who harbors the truth is discouraged. Hakuna mtu anayeishi katika kweli kwa maana yule anayeficha ile kweli pia amevunjika moyo. Let's continue. And everyone who has ears will be able to hear it. Now do you understand why you preach and they don't hear? Now do you understand why you present Jesus to them and they say mimi sihitaji niko sawa? Probably they have seen that you don't value the broom you are. The broom tree you are. You complain more than them. Tell your neighbor nyamaza. And if you don't complain, you brag a lot of how good you are. Ah, Miss Kanyagaga, me, 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 Mr. Kage, Kugusagusra, me, me, I'm me. Me, you, 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 even the hotheads will be full of sense and uh, can you read with me even there that brother of yours who never wants to hear the word of jesus oh my goodness even the hotheads will be full of sense and understanding those who stammer will speak out plainly why the righteous king is around and those who are supposed to be the shelter are standing in place to provide the shade regardless of the circumstances that surrounds them is somebody listening to me let's go to the next verse if that day ungodly fools will not be heroes <laughs> i love the new living translation it's sweet it's getting better can we read together in that day will not be heroes squandrels will not be respected for fools speak foolishness and make evil plans. They practice ungodliness. Let's continue. And spread false teaching about the Lord. They deprive the hungry of food and give no water to the thirsty. The smooth tricks of squandrels are evil. They plot crooked schemes. Verse 8. They lie to convict the poor. Even when the cause of the poor is just. But generous people plan to do what is repeat again but generous people plan to what is and they stand firm in there stop Amen. being stingy with your shadow as they plan to run away from god plan to be generous with your shade Plan to be good to them at all times. Come on, guys. I'm enjoying my sermon. I don't know about you. Because I'm planning to be generous. In every occasion. Rise up on your feet.
this mission month you have a responsibility. The squandrels and the evils out there are waiting to hear from your shadow. We are tasking you today. We are tasking you today. We are giving you a responsibility today. Not a new responsibility, but which you were born for. You are here to represent Jesus to the fullest. What are you doing in the midst of your trials and troubles? Let the sun burn as it wants to. But, but don't change who you are. Look at the broom, uh, the broom tree when the, the, the people of the desert are in the desert and they've enjoyed the shade and night comes, it at times becomes very cold. The people of the desert can still go to the roots of the broom tree and make fire out of it that does not go out very quickly. Angalia ule mretemu kwa wale watu wanaoishi jangwani usiku inaweza kuwa baridi na wachukue makaa yanayotokana na mizizi And as the traveler is lying under the shade the camels and the goats are allowed to come and feed to their fill Na yanapolala chini kwenye kivuli wale ngamia na mifugo wanaruhusiwa kula majani a broom tree becomes all things to all people, like Paul says. It is profitable in the daytime and in the night time. How many broom trees do I have in this church today? Come on, how many broom trees do we have in this church today? Be useful during the day. And at daytime and at night time, during the cold and when it's hot, be the shade that you're required to be. Kuwa mwenye tamani wakati wa mchana na usiku, kuwa mwenye beana kibuli. I close, let me close with these words. Wacha ni malizie na hii. The person in the wilderness is... Yule mtu alie jangwani is driven by the desire to find shade by the same wilderness. You didn't get what I said. The bad situation around you is what will bring those who are in need to you. It's as simple as that. Don't complain about it. Enjoy it as it lasts. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. Amen. And be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Amen. And give you peace. Amen. I think we should just believe God and say, and now may the grace. Lord Jesus Christ and, and the love, love of God, God and the and fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and, and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, be a shade like never before.